you don't rush off. Look, Junior went next door to play in Patrick's Kitty Pool, and Patrick's mom is watching them, so you and I have some time. Which I'm sure you don't want to spend with some guy who just wants to barrel into your innermost feelings. I'm sorry. I'm, I No sleep, all right? I'm obviously out of control. I'm going to hit the road. You're not out of control, okay? You're not. Look, it's just, um... I have so much. I have a wonderful life. I have a great kid. I have a good job, and I... I don't have to worry about money. Great, which you don't need me. Well, no, just... I... But the thing is, is that even though I have all of that, I... I need a little more. Ted needs me. And I have this place in... inside my heart that's kind of an empty place. And you're right. It has a lot to do with Ted. You know, he could be married, doing lots of things. But that doesn't mean I can just stop loving him, you know? I know. Believe me, honey, I know. I just wanted to know that we're concerned that, that, that you know, she's getting too involved with this guy. That... Dixie! A grown woman, all right? She can lead her own life. You mad? How could I be mad? <laughs> I've, I've been doing the same thing with Edmund. I mean, I've been worried about him. I've been thinking that, you know, our working together so closely is not such a good idea. I never thought it was. Well, Edmund doesn't think it is either. And uh, so this morning he told me that he's leaving the magazine. Because of you? Well, that's what I thought, but, um, I mean, you know, here I am. I'm losing one of the best writers on my staff. So I thought it must be my fault, but you know what he told me? He wants to go out and write the great American novel. And now is the time to do it. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It's just, it's just Edmund leading his own life. And that's exactly what Dixie is doing, and that's great. You know why it's great? Because it leaves us free lead our own lives and that is, that is exactly what I want to do. If this is what leading our lives is all about, I'm all for it. There's more. I was hoping there would be. <clears throat> Think you can handle it? I'd like to try. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just I there when. know that you can handle that. Well, I just want to know if you can handle my wanting another baby. So can you handle my wanting another baby? What do you think? <laughs> is that a no? No, no, no. It's, it's, uh... It's just, uh... <laughs> well, how long have we been married? Six weeks? I mean, that's kind of... Well, <laughs> I mean, it was uh, half that time that it took us to get engaged, and then we got married a week later, so if we were still working at that pace, we would be picking out names by now. You don't want to have another baby with me? Is that it? Wade kills bugs dead. Now with a country fresh scent from S.C. Johnson Wax. No, don't, no, don't, don't jump to conclusions. I did not say I don't want to have another baby No, with I can you. see that you are obviously not that excited no. about the idea of having, Brooke, having listen, another baby. what you're baby. seeing is a guy that's very surprised. It was a very sudden announcement, that's all. I'm just trying to take it in. All right, the announcement was sudden, but a, a baby wouldn't be. I mean, you know, these kind of things, they take time. I mean, you know, especially with my history. Best case would be we're talking maybe a year from now, maybe longer. I, Jamie would be three or four years old, and, you know, they say that's an ideal time for having a sibling. No, 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 no question. Jamie would be the ideal older brother. I mean, he's you know, probably the only kid on the playground who knows how to share, and I know he'd love it. He would. No, 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 no. It, it's not about... 
Jamie, this is not just for Jamie. That's not enough. <clears throat> Do you think that he's too little for music lessons? I saw the this cutest little ad. You don't want to talk about, about music kids. lessons. You want to talk about having a baby. It was just a passing thought. You right? don't have passing thoughts. You're much too intelligent. If there was ever a woman in the world, all right, measure mine. All right, it's... look, we're not in sync. It happens. It's okay. I did see this little ad. It was all these yeah. little kids. They were like two and a half years old. They had little violins. I it would was the love to, to have another baby with you. Look, don't say it to humor me. I'm all not. Right. I mean it. But now's just not a very good time. Well, why not? I mean, what's the problem? In a word, Ted Orsini. No longer insisting that I scrap the vineyard for cash, so it looks like I won't have to load up his half of the price into wheelbarrows and just roll it over to his door. So you're getting through to him? Fixie is. She has a way with him, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. We haven't set pen to paper yet, but uh, I think there's a good chance that we'll work things out. So that's good. I mean, that's great. It means that everything is being resolved. Yeah. I mean, he is Ted Orsini. I mean, he's no Orsini's son. Then you're his. As soon as he's ready, I'll... I'll give it to him. Not half of it either, the whole thing. So what does any of this have to do with our making a baby? Well, it's just that I'll no longer be Ted Orsini. My days as the boy wonder wine mogul will be over. I'll just be another ordinary Joe. And uh, my, my net worth's gonna plummet, so I'll have to start over from square one. Are you ready for that? Am I ready to stop being the wine mogul's frau? Am I ready to start washing my own dishes and making my own beds and, heaven forbid, pushing my own shopping cart down the aisles of Shop Saver? Is that what you're saying? Something like that. Would it come as a big shock to you that I did not marry you for your money? I know you didn't, but it is a practical consideration. I could support myself and Jamie and you. You're if purposely necessary. being obtuse and missing the point. No, I am not missing yes, the you point. Are. No, I'm not. You have whatever it takes, Tad. To, to start your own vineyard, if that's what we, you would want to do, to start your own magazine, to start whatever you would want. I've known that since I found you on that hill in Napa. You've come into your own, Ted. And I'm sorry, but you can't go back now. It may take a while. It's going to be a wonderful adventure. Adventure, yeah. Wonderful. The jury's still out. You know what? I think this is the most exciting time that we will probably ever have in our lives. I felt it. I felt it today when Edmund said that he was moving on. It was like the past was slipping away and the future hasn't happened yet. And it's a little scary, but it's exciting. It's thrilling. I mean, it's... What a perfect time to have a child. What a wonderful way to say yes to our future, Tad. To yours and mine. So, no more plain lovemaking? I don't think there was ever anything plain about our lovemaking. That's not what I meant. You know what I mean. You're serious. You want product. Not product? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's... It's a one-of-a-kind creation. Homemade. It's been a lot of fun to make. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Oh! We were giving. <laughs> <laughs> There's my sweetie. Oh, I give you a big kiss, you little cutie pie. You don't... Mm, I missed you so much last night. I looked at the clock and it was late, so I thought, well, I shouldn't call you a third time. <laughs> oh, you Would you like to join us? It's such a pretty day. We decided to go out and take a picnic. 
You know what? That sounds like a lovely idea. I'm just going to change and shower. Hey. Yeah. My dad's welcome to come along in his little soiree. Oh, Dad, I think would be the guest of honor, right? Right. Come yeah. on, Jamie. Let's go pick out a perfect spot and we'll eat our cream cheese sandwiches. Ooh. Okay. We'll see you soon. <clears throat> What do you think? I think that you and Jamie are the best thing that ever happened to me. And I swear I don't know how regular people get along without, without families. Oh, they just have, I guess, uh, a lot of leisure time and they get much too much sleep, obviously. And they're always able to finish the Sunday uh, uh, crossword. What's that compared to having a home? At least you can count on people that love you no matter how bad times get. That's my feeling exactly, really. And no matter how bad a night you have, you wake up in the morning. And your family is there. Hmm? What a... Is there a better way to say family than a baby? It's not like digging ditches. <laughs> I think making a baby is one of the pleasantest that kind of work there is. Yeah. Sure, when it comes to hard labor, I'm not averse to throwing my shoulder against the grindstone for a worthy cause. Are you really? I mean, you're not just saying this because you're not, are you? Are no. You? No. I'd love to have another baby with you. I'm signing on for your wonderful adventure, all of it. I'm just wondering if you want to buy going upstairs, you want to start working on it. Upstairs? Go. Cool.